gratitude of every home in our island, in our empire, and indeed throughout the world, except in the abodes of the guilty, goes out to the British airmen, who undaunted by the odds of mortal danger, unwearied in their challenge, are turning the tide of the world war with their prowess and with their devotion. Our hearts also go out to the fighter pilots whose brilliant actions we see day after day with our own eyes, never in the field of human conflict. was so much owed by so many, so few. The Battle of Britain is one of the most decisive battles this country has ever fought. It started on the 10th of July uh, 1940 and it ended on the 31st of October 1940, just 114 days. We were outnumbered. The Germans had 3,000 aircraft um, in three big air groups to attack this country. We started the battle with approximately 650 fighters, so you can see the Royal Air Force was heavily outnumbered. Hitler wanted world domination. First, he had remarkable victories. He uh, attacked Poland, uh, Denmark, Norway, Holland, Belgium, France. We technically were the last country in Europe opposing. The Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, realized how evil Hitler and his regime was. So he said there could be no peace between Germany and United Kingdom whilst Germans occupied other countries. We had four fighter groups. Number 10 covered the South West and South Wales. Number 11, London and the South East of England. Number 12, the Midlands, East Coast, North Wales. And number 13 group, the North East, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Those four fighter groups formed fighter command under Air Chief Marshal Sir Hugh Dowding. The Hurricane and Spitfire are two principal fighters. The Hurricane was the first one to enter squadron service in, in 1937. It was slower, heavier uh, machine, but it absorbed more damage. It was, uh, had a tubular steel frame, but covered in Irish linen. So if a bullet hole went through it, you could stick a patch on it, and up it went again. The Spitfire was made of metal. So if you've got a bullet hole in it, you'd have to rivet a patch onto the aircraft before it goes. So you could turn the Hurricane around much more quickly than a, a, a Spitfire. For every pilot flying an aircraft, you had approximately 10 ground crew looking after the aircraft, people looking after the fuselage, looking after the engines, looking after the radios, putting petrol into the aircraft. So all these people would be collected around to get the aircraft airborne. And of course, once they returned from what we called a sortie, which is one operational flight, they would make sure everything was okay with the aircraft, turn the aircraft around, it could be 10 and 15 minutes to get that aircraft turned around before it was ordered airborne again. They could do this not once, but up to four to five times a day. So you can imagine the strain on that young man flying that aircraft. It was in 501 Squadron, so Hurricane, Hurricane Squadron. So I don't know if you realise that Hurricane was the aircraft of the Battle of Britain. The Hurricane shot down twice as many aircraft as the Spitfires did. And not everybody seems to know that. We lost many pilots during the battle. And if I can give you one example, uh, the last week in August, the first week of September, in 14 days, Fighter Command lost 103 pilots killed, 128 seriously injured. So you can see how desperately short of fighter pilots we were. And pilots received the minimum of training to get into the air. And some of these young men only had a very limited experience in flying the Hurricane and Spitfire. Literally, I joined the squadron and you meet them and say, oh, hello, hello, how are you? Where, oh, I was trained at so-and-so. And then off you go. 
By the end of the day, you look for them in the evening, they weren't there. They've been lost. The Germans believed uh, that nearly all our fighters had gone and we had very few uh, uh, aircraft. In fact, we had sufficient aircraft, it was battle experienced pilots we were lacking. And they made a decision to attack London. And this happened on the 7th of September 1940. And on that day, at about quarter to five in the afternoon, 900 aircraft crossed over. 300 bombers escorted by 600 fighters. We initially believed the target was the airfields. It wasn't, it was this London. And now the people of London came under attack. It was called the Blitz. And day in and at night, the Germans attacked London. But they had further to come and their fighter only had 10 minutes flying time over London and many simply ran out of petrol on the way back and crashed into the sea. But the German bombers now had to reach London, drop their bombs, turn around and go back again. So we could attack them as they came in and we could attack them on the way out. And slowly but surely the battle started to tilt into our favour. There was aircraft everywhere and you, you had to be jolly sure that you, you were shooting at the right ones. Well, I was credited with eight, eight destroyers. It's all a long time ago, but there's a lot of very happy memories of it. A lot of rather sad ones, but there we are.